As you can see, we've been busy this week making gussets. Production is going full steam ahead. Rowan really has all the kinks worked out for the VCAR files that we use on the ShopBot, and the process to get them all assembled goes out without a hitch. We've also been working on the design for the gussets that have a different pitch than these. The ceiling actually has two different pitches inside the spaceship, and so we have to design the gussets for two different kinds of rooms. This week, we also got to hang out with Nick Bayer, one of the artists working on the interior of the spaceship. We'll show you more of his work at some point in the future. I'm really excited for what Nick has planned. It's going to blow your mind. He does phenomenal work. Also this week, we rebuilt the vacuum former, which I'll show you here in just a few. The vacuum former is going to allow us to do a lot of really cool stuff, especially in combination with the shop bot. I'll show you what that can do here in a little bit. Finally, this week, we finished up some of the landscaping work for my mom using these awesome aluminum walkboard panels I found at the scrapyard with the voids filled with uh, decomposed granite to make this cool pathway that runs right alongside my mom's yard and also alongside the yard for the abandoned spaceship. So we've been busy. I'm excited to show you what we've been working on this, next, this last week, and I cannot wait to tell you what we have going on in the near future. So come back. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and here's what we've been up to. Okay, try again. I got this silicon gasket material. And I ran out of the styrene, so what I'm using is thicker anyway. It's ABS. So it might have worked without it, but it does feel really solid in there now. I think it's gonna take a lot longer to heat up. That worked a lot better, except, I'll show you in a sec, except I have this mallet sitting up too high and it wrapped around and broke, so let me show you. However, this clearly is working. Kinda.
something interesting. Or at least has potential. I finally figured out most of the kinks for this vacuum former. After totally stripping it down, power washing all the parts, priming it, painting it, cleaning it all, uh, getting everything put back together, redoing most of the wiring, um, it all still works. First thing, that part's great. Finally, also figuring out how to keep the material in the clamps here. Uh, so far, it just needed some gasket. So, cross your fingers, that's all it ever requires. I cut this buck out of a piece of melamine on the CNC machine using just an abstract geometric design. And then to keep the, uh, to let the, the material push down into the, the crevices, I just drilled some eighth inch holes through the low spots. Clearly not the perfect method, but it's a test. The result, however, turned out really well. This is cool. The idea that we can make panels like this and use them as a wall surface inside the spaceship to make it feel more spacey. But also imagine designing a layout for, you know, dials or buttons. And it's great to have things in wood, but this clearly you can just create a different effect with it. The sheen's different, the feel is different, and you can even use a uh, shinier side of this ABS or the rougher side. Ultimately, I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with this. The next test I'm gonna try is making a clear dome with it. That's hard to do most other ways, but I think with this thing and the right buck, and I think I have the right material, we could create, you know, a spacesuit visor or a bubble to look out through something, or a piece of, a, a, of an optical piece inside the spaceship. We'll see how it works. So far, so good. Do I have to do everything around here? Oh, hey, we're just working on a couple things. Nothing major. You should continue to feel unbothered.